And all right, so theoretically, we are now live. So, welcome everybody. And I know we're hey, going. awesome. Hello, I can see the stream. Well, good, I'm glad you can see the stream. And so, welcome to what is going to be a very special punishment for oh, where are we? We're still echoing somewhere. Oh, oh, is it me? I shouldn't be. Uh, I turned off my speaker, so you're not booming it's there. Very quiet. So let me see. Hmm? It's like a delay. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to see where it's coming from. Make sure it's not coming from one of my browsers. Shouldn't be. So you don't have, it's not coming from anything on your side? Oh, I was no, just okay. looking because think... I'm like, knowing me, it could be. <laughs> me and the audio voodoo witchcraft I do for some reason. Yeah, let's check over here. Huh? Yeah. I'm just, let's check over here. Close everything over here. Aha! I think I found it. There. Was it me? So, not your fault for once. I know that's kind amazing. Amazing, but an audio problem that was not Matthew's fault. Okay. So, let's talk. Um, you know... There are there are bad movies, there are really bad movies, and then there's Neil Breen. Um, okay. Yeah, I know. You, you won't. Neil yeah. Breen. Neil Breen. Neil, oh, Neil Breen, Breen okay. is a very unique individual. He is um, an architect and a... Uh, and a real estate agent in the Las Vegas area. So if you're looking for a house in Las Vegas, Neil Breen's the guy to go to. Uh, and by the way, hi, Josh. Uh, this isn't going to punish Matthew since he loved those movies you're doing. No, he's not going to believe me. He, this is punishment. Uh, remember, it's only Matthew's fault. And if Matthew weren't late, you wouldn't have been. Yeah, that's true. Well, it is ultimately Matthew's fault. That's true. Um, Thanks, Thomas. So, but yeah, so Neil Breen uh, is Great realtor. His apparently. true love is filmmaking. But understandable. Yes. Yeah, so what he does is through his architecture, he's he's a great architect and a good real estate agent. And but he takes all the money that he makes through those endeavors and he is a really bad filmmaker, and he puts all that money into his passion of making really, really bad movies. And he's made five feature films. Oh, wow. And you're going to see two of them tonight. Um, oh, and awesome. so, yes. And so his movies are really in a class by themselves. And so my challenge to you, I told you to be prepared for a drinking game. Yeah, uh, okay. I, I was able to find something. I just happen to have some sake on hand. I've, oh, okay. I've never had this before, but I, I got a little sake. It's chilled, and I got my little shot glass. So and we're gonna see how my this goes. challenge to you is to take a drink whenever something that you completely do not understand happens. Oh, gosh. I may go through all this tonight. Yes. I, I don't think yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah, think that's fair to me. You might. Um, because this guy, so, you know, Ed Wood made Plan 9 from Outer Space, which is considered the worst movie ever made. And some people call Plan 9 from Outer Space, uh, you know, the Citizen Kane of bad movies, which would make Ed Wood the Orson Welles of bad movie directors. And if Ed Wood is the Orson Welles of bad movie directors, I think that would make... Neil Breen, the David Lynch of bad movie directors. The, the, the movies you're about to see are so strange and so bizarre and yet so bad 
it's just it's like what if ed wood was trying to direct an episode of the twilight zone uh <laughs> or 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 something along those lines it's just his movies are like these sci-fi movies with these weird supernatural flares and he's always trying it, it, it's just the, the just really really bizarre so it, in fact it's so strange that mrs salty is actually sitting next to me right now and she's going to watch the first movie with us uh she can't stay up to watch both but she's going to watch the first movie with us because it's they're so strange that she she wants to see the first one um, awesome hey mrs so, trucker so mrs salty she's, she's waving but she doesn't have a microphone so she can't talk but she's she's waving at you um and so uh so go ahead and, and don't let's put the link in the chat otherwise nobody will be able to join us and i'm glad one of us has this all down yeah you'd think by now we've been doing this for what you know almost 18 months you, you'd think we'd have this down to a system by now uh, of course, you'd also think that would mean we'd have, what, 52 and 26, 78 of these done? Yeah. And yet, here we are in, like, what is it, five, I think? I, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm always playing on you. Well, you'd think, you know, we'd be on time as well, but, you know. No. No, never. All right. So, is the, the link pin? Yeah, I think it did. All right. Uh, so be sure, please, you, you don't want to miss the, the, the incredibly strangeness of these movies uh, because these are one-of-a-kind movies. You, you, they can be hard to track down, actually, Wesley. So, um, but good to see you, by the way, Wes. Um, and, uh, yeah, so... Um, Let's see if I, if I remember how to do this. So there we go. Uh, so good to see you, Wes. Uh, so yes, do follow the link there that we just put up there. That is how to join the room. And you want to do that so that you can uh, make sure that you do that so that you can watch the film with us. And it is 100% free. Uh, Donnie is here, uh, says having a glorious evening. Now the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration has begun. begun. That's you, of course. Do, 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 oh, well, yeah. You know, no, you're the Queen. I don't care about the Queen of England. Um, so Wesley says, I'm on my phone. Should I watch the movie or you guys can't do both? Wes, yes. I hate... I, you know, I know I, I want to say us, but these movies are so good. I, you know, I, I, it's a tough call. I, I'd probably say watch the movies, uh, you know, but, you know, uh, unless I use a computer to watch that, that I shouldn't be using. Well, if you have a computer that you can be using that you shouldn't be using, uh, then I would do both. All right, so let's get this party started. So go ahead and roll the film. All right. Boop. Now, you know, okay, Plan 9 from Outer Space definitely had a weir weird sci-fi element that didn't make any sense. Yes. But wasn't that also the one where the you're supposed to have the vampire character and he kept, like, he died at the beginning of shooting or something? That yeah, plan yeah, nine, right? okay. Lugosi, He died right before. Bef yes. I kind of feel like if they had had less issues like that, it could have been a better film. No, it was never going to be a good film. It's just so. It is so unique. Oh, that was all. Oh wow, it's all coming back to me. That was mm -hmm. the one where they had like the the paper plate as the steering wheel. Yeah. No, no, no. That was the. That was on the, on the airplane. The yeah, the flying saucer was like a a paper plate on a string. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking of the movie that airplane spoofed. Yeah, and that was the one where <laughs> like yeah. they had a backdrop, and they're like, "This is the cockpit." Yeah. Wink. Yeah. 
So, yeah, see, Neil Breen Films, LLC, yes, indeed. I mean, beautiful. he's done a great job with the globe. Yeah. Of course, By the way, he Darren uses a lot of stock my... footage in his films. I hope you like stock footage shots. Oh, yeah. And uh, was it open license music? Yeah. No, no, he actually writes the music. Really? How? Well, this is takes... not bad. This is stock footage, so. <laughs> I kind of hope that in the next stock photo shot, it's like some red-haired, brown-eyed kids. I don't think you couldn't find another twin set. Oh, oh my goodness, I was almost right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> And then the Fire Nation came. Mm -hmm. They were selected. Ooh. By the lens flare with JJ Abrams. Pew pew pew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was definitely J.J. Abrams with all the lens flares. Oh, it was Days of Our Lives. Oh, wow, we're programming. Now, what was the, what was the movie where the dust was important on the bookshelves? I know this is so... I'm giving such a descriptive that, that description right now. I know. You got it from that. Mm-hmm. I'm impressed. Hey, did you know this was a Neil Breen film? I think he's only told us two or three times in this opening. Yeah, yeah, yeah he told. Yeah, he's all, he, he, believe me, he is very proud of himself. <laughs> I mean, it raises an interesting question. Or thought, not question, a thought exercise. Like, how well of a movie could you make if all you used was stock footage and you narrated everything? <laughs> <laughs> About this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, if you got someone who's a legit good filmmaker, yeah. I'm going to, I've been poking bears all day today. Why stop now? What if you got, like, Ryan Johnson <laughs> to take this on? Oh, and Amber he's Heard a good donated filmmaker. a dollar. Very nice. Gosh. Um, yeah. Amber Heard donated a dollar. Said it was a difficult finding a stream where you have Streamlabs donation. I'm giving you a dollar in hopes that you give back between six to five hundred, uh, five hundred dollars to eight million. I could use a little help. Hail Caroga. Well, sorry, Amber Heard. I'm not going to be helping you out because uh, you know I'm. I'm 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 on Johnny Depp's side of that one, uh, but uh, hey, you know, uh, sorry you lost. Well, not really, but <laughs> thanks for the dollar, Amber. Yeah, so there are two of them. Look at that great now visual with, effects. <laughs> now with black hair, <laughs> but I guess you know they did mention that their DNA was changed. They were now humanoids, but what were they before? Human? I, I mean, I guess the Vulcan is humanoid. All humans are humanoid. I think he has his fade kind of uh, out of sync. Oh, here's some more stock footage for you. Well, I bet he wishes that was his body. <laughs> Oh, which one? The uh, the lady on the left corner? Yeah, or him yeah, the... <laughs> Around that time, my twin made an important life decision. <laughs> uh, was it supposed to be sluggish, Thomas? I, I think so. He 
he said as he looked at the strand of DNA. So are you actually following any of this? <sighs> um. Yeah, yeah, I think he's supposed to be drinking some sake by now. I, I should. Because <laughs> they went from being genetically modified to talking about AI for some reason. Yeah. So I'll crack this open. <laughs> I, I've had this in my fridge for like half a year or more. It was supposed to be part of a video series I was going to do on um computer or retro video gaming stuff. And I'm like, hey, this is going to be a boring topic. So every time I get a take wrong, I'm going to drink. <laughs> and I was going to see like how uh, how bad I was by the end of the shot. So now we have him with some stock footage in front of him with robots. Oh, yeah. Here comes a nice stock footage shot of an eagle. That's nice. And the pure majesty of nature. That's about... What does that have to do with AI and becoming a humanoid? And um, uh, well, into uh, further. And Arabic, so, thank you so much. Puts a five dollars super chat in. The Joel on True Sa Salty Tracker best Friday ever. Summer break finally begins. Yes, thank you so much. And. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining us this Friday as you become a humanoid <laughs> or AI or something as he's sniffing an eagle, apparently. Yeah. So, so sniff a, and bird of prey says a bird of prey. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so, and he was sniffing you there, bird, apparently. Or petting? You know, he's Thomas pet, petting the wood. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh. Well, he was genetically modified. Yeah. And and Thomas, I miss doing things oh, here, on here my channel, too. Oh, here comes good stuff. Check this out. I guess he's moving so fast, everyone else is, is moving slow. So he said, follow me. They can't hurt you without moving his lips. Now, they can't hurt me. So you'll be safe if you follow me. So then well, he, check this out. Bullets or yeah, explain. so they're safe as long as they follow him, right? So then check this out. He jumps out of the building. And the whole place blows. What happened to the soldiers? <laughs> they're all dead. Every one of them. Well, clearly, they didn't, he got them out a different way. <laughs> I don't think they got out. <laughs> Follow me. You're all going to die. I love how they just stood there for a long time before they started to follow him. Yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> they had, took him a minute to hit the play button on the stock footage. Yeah, see, look, he got them out. <laughs> no, that's another group. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This group, now these guys are actually giants. You don't realize it until he runs up to them. Oh. What, yeah, watch this, because they're going to stop. Now, watch carefully as he runs up to them. So you see the guy stopped. So he said, wait, let me go first. Now, watch carefully as he runs up past them. He is really taking his sweet time. Yeah. See, now look how big they are. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> and, oh nope, never mind. Got and everyone. They're killed. dead too now. <laughs> <laughs> they all just died. So he's it's his superhero story without like an origin story. Oh gosh. Isn't the acting but, great? <laughs> you know, on the plus side, he at least is doing a better job of walking down a corridor than the last movie we watched. You know, where they're like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we 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 watched um uh, uh the Isaac 
Yeah, the, the what's your, the what's that Hulk spoof? Yeah, the Incredible the Bolt. Bolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god! It's just stood there for so long. Yeah, well, it's more stock footage. <laughs> But, like, he paused the stock footage and just kept sitting there. Yeah, I know. Because, you know, he only had so much stock footage to work with. <laughs> Taking Gosh. another shot, huh? Like, I, the, the movie itself is nonsensical, but his editing choices. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to have everyone move, pause them, and then wait for me. And then, like, take a minute to walk down a hallway. <laughs> Let me just uh, point my gun at you and throw it down. Yeah. Hey, look, here's another gun. I'll just, uh, you know, casually throw it around, too. <laughs> That's the way to handle firearms, don't you think? I think Michael Burnham would be blushing at the way he, she's uh, really complimenting him there. Yeah. I forgot. You're special. You're kind. You're amazing. Huh? Uh, uh. Oh, the corrupt version of virtual reality. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> this movie actually looks fake. I mean, if... If, uh, if you were to say it was just a slideshow that Salty had made, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it really is that bad. I know. <laughs> oh, I just realized he put himself into that last scene. Uh huh. I mean, I'm I'm at least impressed with his ability to. Uh, superimpose himself on things. He really has his green screen game on. Well, this is like his third film, so he's had some practice by now. Which one? Do you miss him or do you miss what you never knew? Well, you know, missing what you never knew is a challenge because you never knew it. Uh-oh, who's this shady character? Could it be a stock footage man? No, no, that's the actual character. Not everything is stock footage in this. Oh, yeah, listen to this dialogue. Okay. Get your drink ready. Programmable everything. <laughs> Is there quantum? Does anything they just said relate to anything else they just said? Well, so we got programmable DNA, programmable matter, and the ultimate virtual reality experience that's somehow going to create a cyber and T word yeah. attack. Hey, Mercer. You don't want to miss this movie, man. You click on the link. Trust me. Anybody who can truly understand these movies are just. Uh, <laughs> you're on a different level. <laughs> Why does he keep saying he's a humanoid? We're all oh, humanoids, because... idiot. Well, that's what the alien did. The alien made him not human, right? But we're all humanoid. Yeah, but he thinks he's differentiating. He th yeah, he thinks that a humanoid is not a human. Why is he 
Oh, here we go. Here's a great scene. It is kind of on her in this one. He was looking at his phone. Yeah. She was just like. He is kind of being creepy. Wow. She said no, man. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You think that's creepy? You just wait. <laughs> wow. So he thinks he just made a date with her at 8 o'clock. Right. And there's the mysterious man in black who the hobo doesn't trust. The hobo knows, yo. Later, at 8 o'clock, I am assuming, because it didn't tell you it's 8 o'clock. Oh, there you go. Well, everyone knows that if she's not there at exactly on time, she's not coming at all. He gives the hobo more money. That hobo's making out. There she is. It's Amber Heard. <laughs> <laughs> well, she had a boyfriend at the time. She had to kind of cut things off. Johnny Depp <laughs> had to cut <laughs> off his, his finger. finger. <laughs> no. no. Okay, people rightly give Tom Cruise a hard time in Top Gun when he follows her into the bathroom after she turned him down. Yeah. He looks downright respectful to what he's what, what this yeah. guy is doing. In and the notice movie. we're hearing his inner monologue here. Right? Yeah. So keep that in mind as this scene progresses. Hey, Keely, we are watching what is clearly going to end up being a masterpiece by the end of all this. A movie yeah. by, what's his name? Neil, Neil Breen. Neil Breen. Yes. You, you want to watch this, Keely. You want to watch this. Here he, here he goes. Breaking and entering. Oh, well, B and, B and e, is it B&E if it's unlocked? Yes. It's, it's still considered B&E? Like, it'd obviously be illegal trespassing, but if you don't have to unlock anything, are you breaking and entering? Hey, lady, I... Missed you at our eight o'clock appointment, so I figured I'd just come to your place. Springtime, why do I need to close my eyes? Is the shadow too much for me? Oh, no, here it comes. Here it comes. Yes, sir, Vic, that is Salamander Tom Paris back there. Wow. Dang, this uh this went dark. Looks like she can. Do you think, babe? Yeah. It looks like she's fighting him pretty good. Shatters a picture frame on him. And he's still not saying any of this out loud. <laughs> like this, this is all in his mind? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Thomas, yeah. how could I forget his name? I've already forgotten it again. Neil Breen. Neil Breen. A name that will live forever. I hope that's at least his wife in real life. I, I don't want to shame, but that's messed up. Yeah, so... 
and she literally broke glass over his head. Yeah, but she broke glass. My wife's like, they were role playing, but she broke glass over his head. I don't care if he likes it. She broke glass over his head. Yeah, see, Matthew's taking a shot. I, I am. Yes, yeah, that was. That's definitely shot worthy. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, like, they went there. They, they definitely went there. Does that make any sense? Like, how? I understand role playing, but role playing doesn't include assault with a deadly weapon. I mean, the best case scenario is she knows he's a superhuman noid. Yeah. And wouldn't be hurt by it. <laughs> Do you want money? I don't want your money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come with me. Are we still Come with me if you want to die. <laughs> Uh, gorillas, if you walk into my house uninvited, would you want me charged with trespassing or beanie? Well, so that's the thing. A lot of times in the criminal justice system, probably depends criminals on the state off you're in, because they try to overcharge them. So I would want you charged with the maximum. Okay, well, honestly, you you might not um, you might not exit my house very easily if you break into my house, but assuming you made it to trial, um, I'd want you charged with the appropriate legal tech uh definition oh yeah check out his mustache it's a piece of paper with a mustache drawn on it taped nailed it isn't that awesome I mean, the makeup is so great. And, and by the way, check out that. So the guy on the right is like, this is just my usual weekend. I don't know what you guys are fussing about. Do you think there's really anyone so stupid as to be at the moment of tied up in a basement, tortured at gunpoint to mouth off like that? I'm a lawyer. You can't do anything. I've I've done lots of things already. <laughs> well, I like the guy who's like, oh, I knew this would come back to bite us in the in the butt. All the stuff we've done, all the you know, the, the <laughs> stolen cars and the money and the girls. I love that. Ow. Ow, that bullet yeah, sticking the wall. I know. <laughs> so how are they not I guess those were shoulder wounds. Yeah. Yeah. And freeze. And blur. I I guess they're <laughs> I guess they're not shoulder wounds. No, that I no that I think that's just showing you all the other people he's killed in the past. Yeah, but or how the room filled up. Yeah, but those three we're gonna see those three people again. Maybe So I don't think they're dead. It's just a flesh wound. Come back here, I'll bite your bloody kneecaps off. <laughs> uh, Bradley's saying in Texas, it doesn't even have to be your house. The entire property is covered by castle law. It, you, you would think I'd know that, but even if that's true, um, you'd be hard pressed to get away with He's just on shooting someone just for being on your lawn. Here. 
Oh, check this out. So he carefully picks up the bullets and oops. Left my heroin needle. Yeah. Surely that's got to be his wife in real life, too. And no, I don't think so. Because he, he keeps casting different women with him in each movie. I think he just likes casting women to make out with. I think that's why he makes these movies. Yeah. I mean, first you got to grab her all over the couch and... Now he's going to make out with her? I I don't think. He's like, yeah, sure, I make movies. Look, I've made six of them. <laughs> and Professor, I, I choose to be here. <laughs> I think that means I deserve this by default. And, Mike, what you did to, uh, to deserve this movie is... Um, I didn't show up two weeks ago. <laughs> I had to cancel. And he just knew that he had to pick that up. With a Ziploc bag. And he touched. Wait a minute. Amazing, a clean scene. <laughs> it, it, look, I got these pliers here to pick up the evidence. <laughs> I mean, you got to make do with what you got on hand, I guess. <laughs> it, it clearly come from the hardware store. Yeah. I mean, he could have at least put a piece of tape across and said "evidence" on the bag. You know, <laughs> he did the tape with the mustache. Why not? Am I? I'm flashing again. Sorry, Thomas. More stock footage. Oh, a deep learning neural network. More weird stuff. She's sleeping. <laughs> mustache. Mm -hmm. Come on, the makeup in this movie. This is like Academy Award winning that makeup here. And Dinner Bells, oh Jesus, Neil Breen. Yes, indeed, Dinner Bells. I love that people recognize Neil Breen movies. Oh, oh Michael, naked it's our HD. Favorite Good person. to see you, old friend. Oh, that's a bot. Thank you, Mike Richards. Let me. I brought you to this restaurant after it closed. If only we had arrived when it was open. Where did he pull that candle out of? Yeah, I was trying to figure out where he was hiding it. I don't think we want to know. <laughs> I mean, he didn't even move to get that thing on the table. Um, eternal and always. Yeah, eternal and, and always. always. <laughs> because He's eternal like, doesn't mean to always. No. He's like, what, 30 years older than she is? Oh, wait till the next movie. Uh-oh. Who's that? Only one of us can move at a time.
I have a goatee. It's how you know I'm evil. I learned it from Star Trek. <laughs> um, I'm over here. <laughs> I, hey, I, I'm, I'm. Look over here. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, Bradley. It's another drink. I don't know where the candle came from. <laughs> So I'm what he did understand here. <laughs> when you do a scene like this, no, no over here, I'm over he, here. <laughs> what? What? I overshot it. So if I slow down, maybe no one will notice. Yeah. No, when you do a scene like this, you have to have someone else saying the lines you're supposed to say. So there's a natural amount of pause there. <laughs> but he clearly meant to respond to the brother's comments. And like just messed it up for some reason. No. Uh, yeah, there's his shirt's inside out. Is it? Or, I mean, is it supposed to be like that? <laughs> oh yeah. Something happened. I always like the mirror scene in Quantum Leap. Well, this is not Quantum Leap. Oh, he's actually coming out of the mirror. Ooh. Or. Um, Wait. Not. He left and then punched it. Or the mirror just broke. I'm going to have to pour myself some more sake. <laughs> I yeah I don't the 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 mirror break for no reason or oh hey more stock footage I'm really curious to see where this AI singularity ties back into the story Really you think oh, there's yeah. a, you think you think there's a story huh Oh, absolutely. It's got to be in here somewhere. But why? Okay, I, I'm not confused. I don't need to take another drink. I'm just frustrated <laughs> at his editing choices. <laughs> If you're talking on a phone and you cut to the person you're talking to, they're supposed to say something and then you respond to that. Not cut to the person, have them say nothing, then cut back and have them respond to something that wasn't said. Yeah, I know. Neil is famous for that, by the way. Water. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Looney Tunes sound effect. Just right there. another night with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> I half expect to see like little birds suddenly flying around. <laughs> <my head. laughs> Oh no, what have I done? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> oh Don't you know he never runs Best from the chase police? Ever. I need the Benny like Hound music for that. How did he get away? Well, did you how see how fast he... that officer was running? Yeah, the officer was running twice as fast as he was. And yet still quite slowly. I mean, my sons could outrun him. And look, a bowl of 
giant diamonds? This is where the AI singularity comes back into play. I'm sure of it. Well, Mr. Bond. <laughs> He had the cats move. Oh, Coozes. Yeah. yeah, so that's Coos. Biochemical control of the human's life support system. You forgot cyber. Oh, excuse me, and cyber, yes. So, air? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> which human life support says, like, are we talking like my, my lungs, my heart, or are we talking like water, air? Yeah, no, no clue, honestly, no clue what, what life support systems is he talking about. Wind, fire. <laughs> I mean, what life support systems are we using right now? Your false Your identity false. papers. It's okay. I'm invulnerable. I don't need a weapon. Oh. 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 That yeah, close. See, that that's come on. How how could you miss that line? Okay. It's up to you. You can answer. Tell her we're watching. or on the live stream. Okay, I can't talk right now. I'm doing job show. Did he go right to the house of the bad guy? You can't see me, but we're watching it. Um, tomorrow I'll be at the con and the mall all day. More light beanie. Mm, you know. All right. Oh, look. If now we got a fairy. I think that's worth a drink. <laughs> <laughs> we have oh. fairies. We now have fairies. Well, clearly... He took whatever was in the needle earlier. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that is a sparkling oh, the fairy lady. Spiky shoes on the fairy. I thought that was like a voice filter on his phone. It's what his diamonds do, I guess. So, yeah, that is an ugly fairy. Are you familiar with the term male gaze? We really want to mm -hmm. hammer this home. So we're going to do the elevator to her twice in the same scene. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's like that. It really does. It looks like it's a porno. <laughs> looks at the lady. Yeah, I'm interested. Bow, 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 bow. Ooh. So more stock footage superimposed on a picture frame. It's the AI singularity I combined so. with the matter, programmable matter. Yes. It makes a painting that, that moves because of the fairy and then it disappears. Well, you know, it's still in beta.
Oh, uh, don't worry, Dinner Bells. The corrupt politicians are in the next movie. I want to know more about your global takeover plan. Well, usually bad or good guys have to trick me into monologuing, but since you asked so nicely. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think by the end of the night, yeah, Matthew might need to have a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know more about your plans, so I'm, I'm going to leave tomorrow. Good for you. We'll do lunch. Yeah, I don't know what's with the guy in the bucket of diamonds. What's hmm? putting pill? Yeah, yeah. Those are pills for the <laughs> I wouldn't think that humanoids uh, would have the same response to drugs. Is that double moon? No, that's he's not. Remember, he yeah. lost his humanoid powers because, yeah, because he he's the bad one. Ah, uh, okay. I missed that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's just Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. This movie was clearly done as a uh, yeah. reenactment scene. Some apple juice. Yeah. This is how people talk. So why are the cats in a different... Oh, the cats just move. Um, yeah, I think that's... Why do the cats move? Okay. Uh, again, and why, and singularity. Wait, huh? They're meeting? Wait, when did they meet again? Why are you? I got a better question for you. And, and what is the, a they just showed that shot. Why? He thought it was really well done. Yeah, it's not. It's it's really not. Stop attacking my foot, you little rat. Then they don't lock their doors. I guess just nobody locks their doors around this town, wherever they are. I mean, they're all empty buildings at nighttime. You have to wonder if like these are buildings that he was working on. And based on the way the, the rooms are labeled, it seems like it's a school. Computer I mean, lab, it, study room. Yeah. It really it's seems, not a small building that he's somehow yeah. gotten into. Bradley, I'm not convinced that this movie is a movie. It's a movie. I mean, legally speaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair, fair. I, I kind of feel like watching Tuvok and Tom here. <laughs> you, know, you know, Tuvok explaining how things have to progress in a set, logical manner. And clearly, he got fired because Tom is the one writing this one. <laughs> and then he makes out with the hot lady. Oh. 
I believe things I wouldn't ordinarily believe. Like this is a movie. Because of AI. Yes. And humanoids. And the singularity. If only he knew about J cuts. Focus. Or any kind of focus. <laughs> focus. Thank you. <laughs> so you think we should go with this shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to get any better. Just uh, <laughs> roll with it. Really? That was the whole shot? Okay, we'll roll with it. Was that his, was that the girlfriend of the bad brother or the wife of? I'm not sure. The girlfriend. I, 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 it was one of the girls related to one of the brothers. I think it was the wife of the good brother. I'm pretty sure that's the good brother. Yeah. Hard to tell at that distance. Could be just random guy number 13. Well, I mean, just listen to all this background off in the distance talk about security and. Yeah. This is a really great shot of the tree, though. I mean, it's really, really awesome to just stare at a tree for 30 seconds. Oh, oh yeah. look. There's the building. Great shot of the building. Got to use that B-roll uh, somewhere, man. Way to go, Neil. I mean, this is some great stuff here. Another I, unlocked building. You saw the light, right? I, I think it's trying General, to say that like, can... That movie is coming up next. I think it was saying like he can just unlock doors with a touch. Well, did they say that, or is that just implied? oh pure conjecture? Okay. And what what's with these guys with the gas masks and machine guns? Why are they wearing gas masks? Is there's no poison gas? Hmm. Maybe it's going to come up. Maybe it looks intimidating. <laughs> Well, great. So why don't you, instead of talking about it, what? <laughs> yeah, that Ouch. looked that looked rather that looked kind of painful. How did he end up like that? That looked kind of weird. Did oh, look! Here's the four guys again. Yeah. Did, oh, yeah. Did he, he like ended he jumped. Up yeah. Huh? Yeah, it explains the glass, she said. He just enjoys excruciating <laughs> pain. <laughs> I think that holds up. Yeah. So his power set thus far is he can unlock doors and jump and he really likes excruciating pain. So that's about it. Here we are at the laboratory again. You see the little lens flare? Yeah. That's got to be him. Using I'm his powers to unlock. Okay. Yeah. Now, would it have made more like, sense? Every time there's a lens flare, J.J. Abrams gets a dollar. <laughs> would it have made more sense for him to touch the card reader next to the door? Mm -hmm. Yes. What? Wait. Biological warfare plans? Yeah, he actually did mention this one already. No, he talked about life support systems. 
by using biological and technological cyber. attacks. Cyber, yeah. Yeah, but he didn't say anything about warfare. I but. think it's implied. Mm, a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. Yes. That must be the key ingredient. Of course, it's it's just a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. It doesn't say it's filled with anything. They said, of course, you can film here as long as you don't touch anything. <laughs> H2O. Hmm. What could this mean? <laughs> what could that be? Yeah, we've seen that on Star Trek. Unfortunately. You know, Mike Richards, I could go for Taco Bell. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. First of all, I like Strange New Worlds. And the programmable matter was in Discovery. Oh, look, they're all in virtual reality. Didn't they say something about virtual reality at some point? Wait, uh, how do you walk about around with virtual at reality point. goggles on? Okay, that actually, for the first time, I got to use an Oculus Rift. And it actually can project what's in front of you into the VR. It's really trippy. Because it's it's obviously like just a moment delayed. And your brain can sense that delay. Right. Uh-oh, it's a Blues Brothers reunion concert. Wait a minute. There wasn't a Black Blues Brothers. I'm calling foul. <laughs> they race swapped the Blues Brothers. That's wrong. I've seen worse swaps. <laughs> now, Thomas, I, I'm just thinking about the uh, just a regular hard taco shell. That's all I care about right now. Wow, and Taco Bell and Sake. Badly. <laughs> Taco Bell and Sake can't be worse than Taco Bell and anything else. Is Kuz like a Gould? Kuz Lee. Huh? Kuz Lee. He said, You're not in control. We're not going to let you be in control. I think he's talking about him and the Blues Brothers. That's Kuz, right? Well, and he's gone now very slowly. I almost feel like what they're trying to say is that this whole time it's been an AI. Uh, like he's in the simulation. At least that's the only thing that would make sense. Or maybe he's just being weird. Well, there's that. Thomas, she is watching, just slightly off camera. Oh, yes, Thomas. Sorry, I didn't see that. Yes, my wife is just right there. Ah! Shot him in the dick? That's not That's nice. That's what it looked like to me, yeah. But see, he twitched his foot like he was just shooting in the foot. Yeah. It, it, uh, it, yeah, he just died. Again? Oh, he'll be dead soon. Well, yeah, you shoot someone in the leg. They're going to bleed out quick. I don't think he shot him in the leg. 
and they're still fighting. It, you shoot someone <laughs> in the other spot, Michael, they and they're just going to give up the ghost. Wait, weren't they happily splitting pills the last time we saw them? They were. In fact, he gave her two extra. Yeah, Mercer says hi, by the way. Hey. She's waving at you, Mercer. Did you do that, Michael? Or no, that, that is actually the way the, the original edit was. I did not change anything <laughs> with this movie. I, I, I'm like, okay, there we go. There's a little Michael touch, but no. No, no I didn't do that. Oh, there's the man in black again. Yeah, Amber Heard lawyers could have used this for evidence. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 23. Yeah. See, there's a picture of Amber Heard at the door with a big old bruise. Yeah. Uh, this movie Red is hallway. called Twisted Pear. Uh, I I am out of no. Uh, if I walked in somewhere and there's like a weird lady telling me to come into a vortex of blackness with red light everywhere, <laughs> I've seen enough movies to know to run the other way. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Curse this bike rack. Yeah, this is like, where what? <laughs> this is where that stupid redhead ran her over. It must have been you. Ran over got some no little old lady. You got no proof. Wait, Kuz isn't an old man that's fat? Well, who is the old man, Kuz? Uh, you know how Fight Club, spoilers, it's all in his head? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what we're seeing here. Well, now he's going to take him out. He's look at that stealth move there. <laughs> he falls down. Nailed it. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here's the big action scene. You ready for all this? Oh, I could not be more ready for this. All right. This is where it gets good. He's he, he's going for the action now. What's that on the floor? That's a bomb. Oh, I don't know. It's just some paper, I guess. Why there's an explosion where there's not the bomb, I don't know. Yeah, neither does he. <laughs> Spider-Man, Spider-Man. You see, he's walking on a you know, flat plane up on the wall there. I've been to facilities that look like that. Uh, did you work at a poop extractor that looked like that? Oh, it was a it was a testing site for this one, but yeah. There he goes. Now he's on the side of a pipe. I'm pretty sure all these explosions are making my computer monitor like flicker or my <laughs> my camera stream. Now I want him jump up to go down. <laughs> 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 uh, Mercer wants to know what's the name of this movie yeah I said it. it's called Twisted Pair oh you know like the telecom cat 5 cable yes except in this case it's because there's two of him they're a twisted pair oh okay Oh, look, we're back to the stock footage from the beginning of the movie. You know, more of that stuff he doesn't remember that he misses. Yeah. 
So now that he's blown up the place, he can sniff the bird of prey again. If it crashes, you know it's actually bird of prey. Yeah. Well, then it would be bird of prey five. If it exploded right there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm a super humanoid. Secret agent who in his spare time takes up falconry. Oh, you smell so bird of prey-ish. And why is he petting the wood as he sniffs the bird? I, I don't know. His hand was a little off. Huh? His hand was a little off. Yeah. But I'm just saying, he's stroking the wood as he smells the bird. America. Go ahead and sing the next part. Oh, is there a next part? I'm sure I don't yeah. know. Uh -huh. Heck yeah. Yeah, nailed it. That's it. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, Thomas, you're right. We should have added birds' voices to the bird. <laughs> Hello, world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not comfortable with this level of interaction. So he's taking out her hair thing and having some wine in front of a gas fireplace. So romantic. I just love you for your money. Let's be honest. Yeah. I'm just doing this because they're paying me. Acting. <laughs> I can't tell you about how I blew up the evil corporations. Oops. And we shall not react to this. <laughs> I just spilled my wine into the fire. It's no big deal. <laughs> no. Well, that was quick. <laughs> I would say that she's not getting paid enough, but I've heard her acting. She might be being overpaid. <laughs> oh, here comes the drama. Are you ready? The hand shadow. Yeah, she would have woken up. Like, is he slipping her roofies? Yeah, she is out. <laughs> I don't know exactly how old he is, but wow, she is. Um, I think he did slip. I, I think he actually gave her some kind of drug. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my wife can't roll out of bed without it waking me up. Wow, that was really. Oh, back to stock footage. You can tell by the way I use my walk. Right? And so he just went back to sleep after being freaked out by something? Oh, Didn't yeah, you can't try tell to find there's out. anything in his pants, can you? He's got a Other than that cell phone? 
No. Nah. Yeah, yeah, you haven't noticed the fake rats? They were there before, too. Oh, I missed that the first time around. Yeah. He stabbed okay. him in the uh, block of wood. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, darn it. I'm not going to make... This isn't going to last till the second movie. Which one is it? Penny, it's, it's Amber. What? <laughs> 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 My dog stepped on a bee. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, good. We still get the the third act. Betrayal between friends. Why is she being quiet? Okay, now, if my wife walked up on this and she saw me paying money to a random girl, I don't think she'd stand in the background. <laughs> but I also don't think she'd be like, you paid for a hug? <laughs> like, <laughs> like she would assume something. <laughs> so those guys are still alive. Somehow. After being shot twice and forced to being standing up for days, apparently. I'm not going to answer that question. So, Arvok, it is a, an hour and a half. <laughs> I was going to say, I agree with him. What? How long? Does the dear God, how long is this film? <laughs> now, what is she doing? Right? <laughs> she just buys some drugs now? It looks like a big old or thing. got to be a black guy. Well, of course, that's all. All black people sell drugs. You know that. That's what you do on the side. Yeah. Now remember, I'm a hoe. Oh, remember that's right. You're, I forgot. You're a, woman, you're a woman, so you're a hoe. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna be a hoe <laughs> by Velvet Jones. He's not following. Yeah, I, I agree with your wife. He wasn't even following him. <laughs> And what we've never heck? seen him before. It's <laughs> so, yeah. Making sense so far? Um, I've got some big picture notes. Uh-huh. He was abducted by aliens with his twin. Mm hmm They performed experiments. Mm-hmm. He's now humanoid. And somehow his brother had the same experiments, lost his humanoidness, and became human again. Mm -hmm. There was a, a Bond villain who liked diamonds. Mm -hmm. But they resolved that plot, kind of. Yeah, it seems like it. And we got uh, his wife, maybe, who is one of them. Yeah. But 
One of what? Uh, is is she um Doctor Klaus's something? <laughs> Why should I tell my wife to smack me, Thomas? I I believe it was the hoe comment. Well, Actually, that was my, that was she my. said it first. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, excuse so me, he, not Klaus. He's still around, so he's. Oh, he did it again. He did the nut yeah. shot twice now. Wait, he just. What about all the guys with the machine guns? He just. Yeah, I mean, wait, he just went past them and nothing. I mean, are they not following him into the lab? Didn't he already blow up this lab? You know, those are some really epic, tiny explosions. Now we just need the bald eagle to like swoop back through the scene. <laughs> okay, where are all the guys with the machine guns now? <laughs> I tripped again. <laughs> he is really old. <laughs> his like maximum speed is mosey. Bless his heart. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of funny. So, oh, there's the fairy chick because you know. She's there for a reason. Okay, so the movie on the screen is one of his older films. Okay. Don't ask me why. Why? I told you not to ask me. Oh, okay. oh, diamonds. Yeah, does okay. any. <laughs> I am so glad I have this bowl of diamonds because that's my food. I, I, I still want to know what's the significance of the bowl of diamonds. He just really likes diamonds. And why do the cats keep turning on their own? Because they are tripping. Yeah. Now, do you think it's an issue that my face is in the light? No, 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 no. The important things are in the light. The shot's perfect. Um, so no. And they're just walking into a picture. Wait, what? Now they're not? Okay. Maybe they're doing they, so he's remembering, I guess. Yeah, he's remembering. Oh, you're an idiot. You do know that I'm <laughs> vulnerable to explosions and yeah. bullets, right? Why does he why does he have a weapon? I thought he was the weapon. weapon. Yeah, he didn't need a gun. Showing you what?
You're tearing me apart. Oh, bullets do hurt him now. Now we shall die together. I just told you it was only business. You are making this awkward. We cop a feel as we die. No, I, I don't think I got this scene right. Uh, take 82. Let's try this again. Oh, yeah, I'm invulnerable. Never mind. <sighs> <laughs> it's the sofa from the other movie. Oh, the killer sofa. <laughs> <laughs> So the wife was with Klaus. <laughs> she she already told us this. No. It's a serious police vehicle. They are lighting up the entire building. Well, you know, they want to make sure everybody knows they're there. One, boy, they, they, they sure do want to make sure that nobody misses their lights. Um, that was weird. The man is a master at building suspense. No way, the three guys that he shot earlier are dead? Yeah, amazing, I, I guess. What a twist. Um... <laughs> Batman begins. <laughs> <laughs> so they're both serving justice, just in opposite ways. I guess so. One of them by doing lots of drugs, beating up his girlfriend and occasionally murdering people. And the other one by um, getting his girlfriend to beat him up and stuff. Um. All right. This this is a rather drawn out. Scene. They're all drawn out scenes, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> if he makes out with the alien, best movie ever. <laughs> Is that it? No, no, no. Yeah, it's like right, every, this movie should have ended like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> he was really inspired by the ending of the Lord of the Rings saga. I think so. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you forgot to hit play on the background scene. Oh. <laughs> Wait, why are you bringing her? She tried to kill you. What? It really took her a minute to remember that line of, hey. Why would you bring her? She tried to kill you. So what if he loved her? She tried to kill him. Really moved that hand down low on her. Yeah, well, you know, he's got to cop a feel while he can. He's not paying her for nothing. <laughs> uh, you still forgot to hit play on the background. All the little fairy dust things are just standing still. Remember, they're supposed to be falling. While I'm in hell. <laughs> I've killed so many people. Like, there's no way I'm going anywhere else. <laughs> Remember, I died trying to murder you. Remember, I'd still be alive if you didn't shoot me. And technically, I pose you no know, threat since you're invulnerable to bullets. <laughs> oh, now oh, there you, go. you hit the play, hit play button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more lens flares. All right. He's here. Oh, he's he's back. I have more important Look things. Look at the way his feet are compared to the ground. <laughs> A virtual metaverse. Yeah. Because you know. Everything is virtual. So what do you think? How many Academy Awards do you think he should have won for this? Uh, a Razzie? No, come on. This was some awesome filmmaking right here. Is it? <laughs> uh, I definitely don't see the point that he was going for here. Well, the main point was that he's awesome. And that he has evolved beyond the rest of us. Oh my God. So... They kind of got like the Green Lantern treatment. Okay, Taken in by an alien and given superpowers. So my wife really liked it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you see that? Look at the credits. Hero of Kuroga. <laughs> I'm going to. Right, here, will you take. Hey, right, while the credits are going, I'm going to try and uh, fix this. Flickering thing I got. Okay. I'll be quick. You better hurry. So, yes, that was Neil Breen's Twisted Pair. But um, the next movie we're going to see is Neil Breen's Magnum Opus, uh, which 
is uh yeah it, it's it's makes that movie look like you know absolute crap and now it's getting ready to start and matthew's not here so matthew hopefully we'll be able to rewind it oh there he is here we go so this is neil breen's absolute best work Faithful Findings. This movie is legendary. Okay. We'll see if... Uh, first of all, can you hear me? Because I think I messed yes, with something. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, good. We'll see so if that, that helps the flick So you handle. notice he's actually going for artistic shots here. Look at this dolly shot. Very nicely done. Not the schlock. This is not a stock footage shot. This is actually an original Neil Breen shot here. Oh. So now that big book on a stand, we will see throughout the film what it represents. Nobody knows. Is it a book? Like, Look can at it be it. opened? Or yeah, is it just a it's plywood? A no, it's a book. Now, this is stock footage. But at least we that first shot was not stock footage. Looks like the opening to Jurassic Park. Yeah. And this is not stock footage. So he's learning a little bit. Yes, yeah, so he actually filmed on location here. Not creepy. Oh, it happens all the time in Montana? No, I think it's Northern California. He lives okay. in Nevada. Okay, so... You want to do some shrooms, kids? <laughs> That's so natural. Don't you think the way he's just holding his hands there... Oh, and look, there goes a ghost or something. She's like, you're an idiot. You know that? Well, let me open... This thing that uh, you hadn't closed. I'm going to make a bracelet out of these conveniently placed stones. It's a magical day. Yeah, you don't say. That notebook came out of nowhere. <laughs> well, I'm sure she had it conveniently hidden somewhere. That we shall not discuss. Please tell me a leprechaun's going to chase them down. No, no leprechauns in this movie. <laughs> Warwick Davis is not in this film, but boy, that would make this the best movie ever if he was. Just not those brats have stolen me stone. <laughs> <laughs> really, the plane's not going to leave without you, sure. I'll always love you as I wave a salute 
from a certain party. So remember, those kids are about the same age, right? Yeah. Okay. Just remember that. <laughs> we had an amazing summer together. You're 10. Mm -hmm. You're 10. How amazing is it supposed to be here? <laughs> Yeah, Gorilla, it is glitching real bad. After this movie, I'm going to reinstall my video drivers and see if that doesn't help out for next time. You and your tinkering, you always mess stuff up on your computer. I haven't even been tinkering recently. Yeah, whatever. I haven't had time to tinker. Okay, look at this, this shot. This is so Neil Breen. Traffic light. He's waiting. Nobody yeah. around, right? turns green <laughs> all these people right and then he crosses no one. nobody no light no nothing that hurt So we are just going to linger for like, I don't know, five, ten seconds. Does that seem too much on that this seems, lady's that legs? That seems a little too long. long. It was just long enough to be kind of creepy. Wow. he He's dead. <laughs> Based on the front of that car, he is dead. <laughs> we have the technology. We can rebuild him. I'd love it if instead of being upset, she got mad. Like, oh, Dylan, you are always doing this, giving me the silent treatment. Well, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't know. Poke him with a stick. Somebody uh, do something? Like you're all just standing there. Well, that one guy said to call 911. Yeah. So the ghost showed up again for a second. By the way, away by the stone. if you understand what the ghost is, please tell me, because I don't. Uh, I'm sure by the end of the movie, all will be explained. No, I don't know. I've watched this movie like three times, and I have no idea what that ghost thing is. And what's the name of this one? Ghoul something? Uh, no, I forgot now. Something fate. Uh, Oh, now I forget what it's called. Ooh, woo. Yeah, they really want to, you know, remind you of that siren. I know there's two of them. Yes, yeah, he's he's not dead. Let's see.
I'm going to smell you with the pen. Oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> called Fateful Findings. So now, one thing to note, you see the oxygen mask. Yeah. Note that the oxygen mask is on a cast, <laughs> not on his face. Yes. He's not doing much good there. Because oxygen doesn't do much good blowing into a solid cast. Well, they took him to one of those uh, intern hospitals. Yeah, where they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, that's the ones. <laughs> can, he, can he hear you? Do you not see him unconscious over here? You know, it might help if you were giving him actual oxygen. In fact, it's in the red. I think it's empty. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the, you got an <laughs> empty oxygen <laughs> tank. You got an empty <laughs> oxygen tank feeding oxygen into a mass that's not going to his face. By the way, wait till you see the IVs up close. That's another good joke. Ah, I see. She's the one who put the mask on, and the doctor didn't want to correct her because he's hoping she'll go to dinner with him. That's probably it. No, nope, no pulse. Call it. <laughs> Semi-comatose. Is that a thing? No, no, I don't believe it is. <laughs> Can you be semi comatose? You know. Let's see what no. Google has to say about this. Semi comatose. And why would she come over if, if she says he isn't my patient? But let me know how he's doing. Why, if he's not your patient, why should you be informed? Okay, it is an imprecise term for a straight of drowsiness. Yeah, I think he's a little beyond drowsy. He is comatose. <laughs> he is not semi-comatose. She is a lousy doctor. And he still has his magic six-sided die. Saving throw! Saving throw! <laughs> <laughs> Natural one. Yep, okay, here comes the IV. Uh, it's just a tube taped to his skin. Even still, yuck. Yep. No needle, nothing. Just a tube taped to his skin. All right, so he's going to take off the oxygen mask that's just going to his cast. And underneath it, get this. Yes, he's got a nasal uh, <laughs> oxygen thing also attached to the cast. Boy, he's getting double dose of oxygen going nowhere. He's got some massively feminine hands, too. He really does, yes. He's like, I thought it was the doctor taking the IV off at first. Yeah. He's probably got a very weak handshake. <laughs> like Bush. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad you know that.
He's there, the phantom of the opera. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's an improvement or not. <laughs> Yes, this is the carpet. Yeah, because there's that same man in black that we saw in the other movie. He shows up oh. in a lot of Neil Breen's movies. The mm -hmm. mysterious man. Oh, and he disappeared. Because he's mysterious. I guess he liked the, the Half-Life game. Yeah. Take care, Gorilla. Sorry that was glitching too much for you. Uh, Gorilla, is it the SciTube or YouTube that's buffering for you? She is remarkably calm for someone who's not patient has just disappeared. Well, it's not I, her patient, so she's not too worried. I didn't just charge him. Maybe we should discuss this more over dinner. <laughs> Yeah, is he like the Zap Brannigan of doctors there? <laughs> I think so. Son, that is an unhealthy amount of blood you're losing. Yeah, it's uh, not good there. So what she just are walked you into the shower? <laughs> He's still wearing the mask? Okay, this lady's not being paid enough. So sexy. Don't you think? I don't. What? You don't think this is like the most erotic scene ever put to film? No. Blood splashing everywhere as they caress each other in the shower. Oh. Thank goodness they cut it short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now the bed should be just covered in blood at this point. He, he's not comatose. He's dead. <laughs> so the amount of blood he was losing, yeah. he is dead. No, no, he was losing all the blood. <laughs> if only she could look at his. Oh, what is it called? It's a clipboard thingy that has the patient's name on it. And maybe see that this is. Her childhood friend. <laughs> I'm acting. So again, Amber heard Johnny Depp.
Such a loving couple. Who is she? Well, the dude, that's the dude that was his best friend that came and visited in the hospital. And it's been months since they've been intimate, huh? I guess so. <laughs> See, this is just such a great story, isn't it? I'm not sure I'm entirely following it. So, well, this is just, they're just setting up for everything. So the story is that's, that's, that's Neil's best friend and his wife and their daughter. Stepdaughter. Well, it's his daughter, her stepdaughter. Okay. So he asks his wife for his pills. So what does his wife do? Cops a few of them because she's a drug addict. I'm seeing some similar motifs between yeah. his movies. <laughs> so he's like, after asking for his pills, he's like, screw it. I don't want my pills. Yeah, don't you know that you're not supposed to dump pills down the toilet? Take them to the proper disposal area. But he doesn't bother please, to flush it. Please don't get them. Like, I'm sure there might be a refill on that bottle. You could just take it to the grocery store, get a refill. The ghost wind. Yes. Yes, indeed. And there's his magic six-sided D, his D6. I think I actually have. A By magic happenstance, mm. I happen to have the exact thing. Well, there you go. Now, I'm not going to... Uh, Oh yeah, Form get used to like this. this. <laughs> Hope you like seeing Neil Breen naked in a room that's lined with garbage bags. Mm, no. no. No, I can't say I do. Oh, well, too bad. You're going to see it several times in this movie. <laughs> I don't know why. It's another one of those things that just doesn't add up, but happens several times in this movie. Uh, Thomas, no, that is not a part of Nomad. Yeah. Boy, boy sure would be nice to have Nomad sitting right here. That is a part of Nomad. <laughs> yeah, look at that. An actual piece of Nomad that's supposed to be on a fully functional Nomad sitting right behind me on the shelf. Unfortunately, some jerk-off hasn't finished making it. He's the worst. Okay, so this is his psychiatrist. Wow. They didn't want to move the camera location. Go on. (laughs) 
I know, and I appreciate the LSD. Mm -hmm. And that's the entire scene. They just cut it off right there, and he's done. By the way, who keeps four laptops on their desk? All of them turned off. And there are some old laptops, too. Yeah, coffee on the laptop. That's that's going to go well. At least now I know why he got the old one. Yeah, he got them all at Goodwill so that he could destroy them. Yeah, I'm with him. You got to have the coffee. Like, <laughs> even if you're, you know, having an aneurysm, get that coffee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, random minutes. How you doing? Hey, tonight? good to see you, Joseph. Joseph, you got to watch this movie with us. You don't know how bizarre this movie is. Uh, so, but good to see you, buddy. By the way, that that is actually um, Neil Breen's car. He's very so proud he of is it. in fact a successful. I told you he's a successful architect and real estate agent. He's just a crappy filmmaker. Uh, no, he was literally trying to get yeah, some. He was trying like, to get on you earlier. I think he'd rather get on you than the car. We are having a horrible marriage right now. We could use the break. I mean, the editing here, like you said, is like so jarring because it's like they go from, yeah, you should come over for dinner sometime to the middle of the dinner. <laughs> you know? All right, Joseph. You, but you should, yeah, you should watch this whole thing later. I can't no, believe he was able to get past. <laughs> That's right, semi. <laughs> I can't believe he was able to get past all the nurses and the doctors and just leave. Yeah. With his butt wide open there. What was that? He they're trying to say like he's straight up drunk. I guess, but that's like like he he went from sober to drunk in half a second. Yeah. Maybe you should go to the hospital. 
Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have just checked yourself out. Why oh, are you I guess the day's over. papers? Like, I mean, are you literally writing on paper when you have three, four laptops in front of you? Well, they're all broken. Wait, you're continuing to hack into government systems? Huh? Well... Side boob alert. Needs to have my face spin in there. Hmm? So we need to have some dancing dolphins or something. Not on her, on the guy. So are they trying to say, like, she just sleeps naked? Because I I think that might be the most unbelievable part of the movie. Well, they do live in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, Thomas says for you to cover your eyes. Is I'm a psychiatrist. You're paying me to <laughs> talk to you about these issues. <laughs> that that doctor is really a drug pusher. Yeah, he is. Yeah, man. Okay, so uh, wait. He's taking so, pills for pain relief, but he's getting pills from a psychiatrist. Yes, that's literally what I was pointing out. Yeah. But psychiatrists don't generally prescribe pain pills. They like will prescribe like an antipsychotic or something like that. I'm on the phone. I don't care. It sucks. What kind of accent is that? I'm trying to figure out where I'm she's trying from. to figure out. Yeah. Eastern Europe, Yosef. Mm. He's hacked into just about all the information he needs. Not hacked into all the websites that he needs to get the information. Yeah, <laughs> gosh. Wow, Did burn. It. Wow, that hurt. That cut deep.
turn, don't turn away. <laughs> what? So, so, so yeah, he's been hacking into all those government websites, but he'll just throw it all into the floor so he can screw his pill-pushing wife on his desk. As he uh, yes. attempts to rip her shirt and fails. That does appear to be what's going on right now. Yes. And it's not just throwing the papers around. I mean, he literally threw the computers across the floor. So even if he was just typing on the computers, he broke the computers. You know, you're not. He does even, not pay these girls enough. You know, I'm sorry, but look, I may not be the world's best expert on sex, but you want to expose the breasts. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just saying. Hi, Dilly Ho. <laughs> True point, Thomas. How many shrinks even have pills in their office just ready to push out? Yeah. Well, he does. Oh, yeah. Check out his new shrink's office. <laughs> At least it's not too big. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's how bad the pills were. They made him think that he was talking to an old man <laughs> in a huge office. I didn't sign up for this. Oh, the mirror again. <laughs> no, that's the same mirror, isn't it? It hey, is. Wait, wait, he did that same thing. He, yeah, he did. <laughs> Oh, oh God. what an interesting way to start a conversation. I'm sorry. That's why we work. And yes, girl, I think I see it. Fine. She's such a fine actress. I'm not running away. I just said I'm going. Gosh. Oh, the man in black again. Ominous.
Yeah, Fran Drescher has got nothing on her. That is a heck of a voice. Can we throw your computers around the room again? You know, just once I'd like to see one of those computers on. Right. Just to, just to see that they work. He's constantly pretending to type on them. Man, this is giving me whiplash. <laughs> oh, just wait. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's a man. Look at him. <laughs> Hasn't he already revealed this? <laughs> What? You're doing the thing I know that you've been doing because you've told me several times? Oh, there's that book again. Oh, and it's in the trash bag place. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any ideas what the book is? I would love to know. Was he actually <laughs> going to open it? Like, at this point, I'm not sure the book opens. It almost looks like cake. The book is a lie. So he's opening the book. He is. Yeah, see, like, tonally, this, this movie just goes everywhere. See, and now we're at the barbecue. And it's like, like zero transition. Like, maybe they need to have an intervention for his friend there. He yeah. is having some serious booze problems. It, is it a barbecue? Like, there's a background voices. Yeah, I know. It sounds like there's 20 people there, but there's five. <laughs> what, she, how, what? She just randomly showed up? Yes, apparently. How? Why? And it's not even his doctor. And after all that, she didn't even go out with the old guy.
So her ringtone is the sound of dialing. And she carries around that drill from when she was a kid? <laughs> <laughs> what? So that means that they are the same age. Is that you? <laughs> yes. So that Can I means... have some more context? <laughs> yeah. That means that either she aged really well or he aged really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm I'm kind of married and you're here with your boyfriend, but fiance. That's weird. People in his movies don't look at each other when they talk to them. That's because Neil Breen doesn't know how to make movies. Because I walked up and I know that you two were old friends. Now, by the way, you're going to love, you talk about the tonal way that this movie is like weird. Watch yeah. this scene. This is so classic. This is such Neil Breen tonal deafness here. So we're having a happy barbecue. Yep. And everything's groovy. Everybody's happy. Except the wife. Oh, yeah. Nailed that drunk acting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Oh, my neck. It is. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, where did that go? How? What? How? And that's it. And then now we're back to him writing. Oh, yeah. Um, now their daughter is just randomly coming into their pool. Okay. Wee, this is water. And she's like, you know what? Yes, I'm underage. Yes, this is my dad's best friend's pool, but I'm just going to go topless. Yeah, because she's like, you know, three years younger than a doctor. <laughs> so now she's going into his house. Into Oh, yeah. By the way, bathtub works much better if you actually close the drain at the bottom. You'll never believe what I just saw. You see, he needs to be going the Joseph route right now. He needs to be running out of the house as fast as he can, not walking up and sitting down next to her.
Now, right now, she's looking at the camera going, I can't believe I'm in this film. <laughs> See, I think the reason for this scene is strictly because he wants everybody to know that every woman thinks Neil Breen is hot. Yeah. So is this movie making more sense than the other one? Amazingly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Amber Heard <laughs> Super Mature Well, this just escalated. Oops. Oh, she's a bad shot. <laughs> yeah. I guess instead of the car, she shot it in the head. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Yeah, was she trying the Jedi mind trick there? I, I think she saw it. Yeah, I get what you're going for, but you might want to put the gun in his hand. Maybe wipe your prints off the gun. She's practicing for when the police show up. <laughs> you were supposed to be the chosen one. <laughs> oh, Anakin. You were my brother, Anakin. <laughs> How much blood does he get on his face? I'm dead. I can't answer you. Really? You can't help him out of this, huh? I'm shocked. Now, if only you were a humanoid, you could help him out of it, maybe. <laughs> Why 
Weren't you supposed to call 911, not your friend? Meanwhile. So did you ever call 911 or is that just a, we're done with that now? No, no, we're definitely done with that. Well, he took a gun, he pointed it at his head, and he pulled the trigger. Not that that actually happened, but that's how he could have. Well, he's a he's a writer. He doesn't actually know these things. <laughs> Granted, the basic uh, forensics test would show that the he was shot from you know a distance and you know all that, but. Oh, you're going to sleep? Okay. Oh, back to naked in the garbage bag room. <laughs> and he, he now... may have Thomas. <laughs> Was she blaming herself? Those are some angry pills right there. Yeah, they were. I overreacted. He was just trying to fill me up. I should let him fill me up. <laughs> How is it all your fault? I mean, I know you, you don't know that he was murdered, but how is it all your fault that he killed himself? Who do you think gives uh, the most wooden line delivery? Tommy Wiseau or Neil Breen? That's tough. You know, I would love to see the two of them in the movie together. <laughs> That'd be the only way to really determine it. You're tearing me apart, Neil. No. No, it's not so. Yeah, you see... <laughs> And, and the problem is, is that they've both only been in movies that they themselves directed. <laughs> so, you know, then, like, who would direct the film? Half his, I, I think about half of his performance is throwing things onto the floor in this room. I think, I think it's just a direct response to uh, how great the water bottle throw. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> the water bottle throw in uh, the room was. So he decided, yeah, Tommy, I can one up you there. I'm going to throw things all over this room. One more. There, look, yeah, there. <laughs> Come on, throw the phone. Come on, throw the phone. There we go. <laughs> oh, she's here too now. Yeah. In the trash bag room. The trash bag room for two. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think this whole movie was just an excuse for that room for the two, for, for him to get her naked in that room. And I'll bet I you, I'll bet you, she, she thought she was going to die that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
More throwing. More throwing. You weren't supposed to hit me with that one. I should probably say something at this point. Thank you, Counselor Troy. You're the best. <laughs> What do you think, Will Riker? <laughs> this is my first kidney stone. It was very <laughs> painful to pass. I got it from Birdo Prey 5. <laughs> Meanwhile, back with this guy. <laughs> so he's seeing both of them? I guess. Why would you be seeing two psychotherapists? Now it's a different day? I guess. I'm confused. I am too. Yeah, you are. Narc. Wow, she's government secret. Is that a yes? Is, is that a no? Yeah, we don't know. Big mystery, I guess. We shouldn't be meeting like this. Hey, you know we're the same age, right? I still can't believe it. I know. I look really bad for a 20-year-old. Or is it that you look really good for a 50-year-old? I can't remember. <laughs> we were going to walk away from each other, but eh, we'll come back. Oh, yeah. Give me some of that sugar. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, I think he just makes these movies with the intent of getting on hot girls. Yeah, Neil Breen is 63 years old. Sixty. That's that's a lot. Yeah.
I feel like she needs to set her sights a little bit higher if he is everything she ever wanted. Oh, come on. You're so mean. He's so old. <laughs> so let's see. Neil Breen was born in 1958. Uh, if we look up. Oh, uh, they've gone back to the place. I can't believe there's a half hour left of this. But I guess we gotta figure out how his hacking goes. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna love that. Remember this random tree we came by? <laughs> and we so Clara Landret, that that's the girl here. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> geez. Is that for real? Oh man. Why is he putting it back? Yeah, Claire. Okay, so remember I said that um, Neil Breen was born in 1958. Yeah. Okay, so Clara Landret, which is the girl, the the blonde, mm -hmm. she was born in 1988. She's younger than I am. It's it. She's supposed to be the same age. As There's a 30 year difference. Hey, Tokyo, how hey, you doing? Hey, Tokyo Ga Gaijin, how you doing? You know, I would tell you that you missed so much of the movie, you shouldn't join in, but hey, it doesn't matter. <laughs> At least his dreams. Yeah, he's getting to hook up with a 30-year younger chick. I mean, it's kind of obvious when someone directs their own movie and, like, all the women are throwing themselves yeah. at him. So his wife commits suicide just as he's getting together with the hot chick. Because what he's really point. lucky. Yeah, what a coincidence. Oh, the... <laughs> oh, gosh. He, he literally watched this and went, yes, this is the correct order. She dies and spills the water. Then we have me making out with the blonde. And then she is back to life. The water is unspilled. And she apologizes. Mm hmm. Should I swap those? No, no, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's why you have a script supervisor on a, on a film. They're the ones that basically deal with continuity. Oh, you're so old and wrinkly. Yeah. <laughs> Just for that comment, we're going to do another five takes of this. Yeah. Notice how her eyes are fixated on his eyes because she doesn't <laughs> want to see anything below that. <laughs> She's like, oh, no, I ain't looking anywhere but your eyes, buddy. See, look at that. She is like, no, I ain't looking at anything below the eyes there. 
like the tall, mighty wood. <laughs> no, Emily, I was yeah. cheating on you. Look, you look how he's like, Emily, Emily, please wake up, please. Oh, no. Like, he was much more upset about his friend being dead. Well, he clearly emotionally detached himself from his current wife. E yeah. Ex-wife, excuse me, she's dead. Yeah. What was you? His true love? I mean, what? what is he talking about? Well, Emily, thank you. That, no, he should be saying, yes, yes. Oh, Emily, thank you so much. And you can tell he uses bleeding edge technology with that phone. I bet that's his daily driver phone. Oh, he threw the phone. Hey, you can't fall asleep on the computer without coffee in your hands. Wait, why? He had already returned that. Why was it in his hand again? Because, you know, reasons. Oh, yeah, back to the garbage room. Was he trying to do the Vader no? I, I, I no, I, I, that was definitely not a Vader no. That's not the blonde. That's Emily, isn't it? I'm not sure because you never see her face. <laughs> it's the old shrink lady. <laughs> you never see her face, so maybe. That'd be really disturbing if that's who it was. <laughs> Yeah, Tokyo, this is one of the worst movies ever made. It's it's absolutely terrifying. Oh, this is a great scene here. So well put together. It's like, watch as he carefully places the spinach. See, that, that was planned. See, her hair is a very different color than the woman in the garbage bag room. The most secret government and corporate secrets. Heavy. <laughs> What? I mean, this isn't news, man. I think everyone knows that the government uh, worldwide and corporations are cheating and corrupt. Yeah. And my shrink. Mm-hmm. And whoever I was on the phone with, I mean, it's not like the government taps those. Mm -hmm. 
That poor laptop. You know, a great drinking game would be every time he throws something. <laughs> Meanwhile, on an outdoor electrical outlet. <laughs> right, right. This is wonderful cinematography right there. Oh no, hydrogen peroxide. Hey, hydrogen peroxide is deadly. If, you know, you drink it or something. No, let me help you. I'll fall into you there so you can get get there, you yeah. know. And and then yeah, there we go. Yeah. And now we'll pretend that hydrogen peroxide will knock you out. I think that's Emily? Or no, Emily's the dead wife. I think that's the blonde. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Good thing that you're you're still talking to her and you know she's been abducted. Just shut up. No, she's not okay. Hang up and call the police. You know where she is. You've got the note right there. Good. Yeah, go. Yeah, good. Good. Go find her. Uh huh. Go, go find her. Since you have the address, that shouldn't be too hard. Since the bad guy was stupid enough. Whoa, what happened to Matthew? He disappeared on us. Hopefully, he'll be back in a second. Since the movie didn't stop, I'm assuming, well, SciTube didn't quit on us, but Matthew just disappeared. That was weird. Well, Matthew says his internet died. We'll see what happens here. Because he's missing the best part. Well, that's where it just rewind. It, it rewound. So I'll see if it does it again. And let me know, guys, if for you, because for me, it went for a couple minutes and then it rewound. And then, and now it's playing again from when he was on the phone. But if is it looping for you guys? Let me know.
So let's see if his internet comes back yeah, soon. Yeah, it looks like Yeah, it looks like it's not looping anymore. So that's a good thing. So maybe that means that the internet will come back on. But when Matthew comes back, I want if if he makes it back on, I want to rewind it a bit. He's power cycling his modem. See if it comes back online. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Nothing, nothing, I promise. There's the man in black again. And for some reason, his laptops are moving around on their own. And his desk drawers are opening by themselves. I don't know if you guys are seeing about what I'm seeing right now. See, this is where it gets really weird. The man in black is walking around the corner. And the misty ghost thing is in bed now with um, Neil and his 30-year-old twin. Got a creaky old door just randomly opening. Ooh, now the mirror is kind of moving around for no reason. Let's see. Uh, oh, no, the candlestick ghost that uh, uh, f Beverly from Next Generation. Yes, I think that's what it is. And now it's moving uh, pictures around very slowly.
Meanwhile, Neil's looking around nervously because, you know, it's Neil. Yeah. I mean, why are they supposed to be the same age? Why couldn't he get a 60-year-old lady? I mean, come on. Or cast someone else in the role, you know, cast a 30-year-old dude to play that part. You know, is he really that vain? Uh, good old fashioned landlines. Why are you hearing him leaving a message, but his lips aren't moving? Okay. So now he's driving and everything's okay, he says. So he goes out to the middle of the desert for no reason whatsoever, but then he finds the book out there. Wait, was she never there? So Neil's just sleeping good. Nothing like, you know, just getting a good 40 winks when the world is falling apart.
Oh, here comes the big, the big press conference. Supporting truths. <laughs> we must be punished and eliminated. He's resigning as president of the bank. He's an insurance company. Interesting.
Okay, now. Yes. So it looks like Matthew is being legit about the uh, internet problems. Um, I was looking. Uh, so apparently, um, the internet provider that Matthew uses, they had a problem where construction work uh, being done in the area cut their fiber. And uh, the issue has been resolved, but they're still having some prop sporadic problems. And they want uh, people to contact them. I forwarded that information over to Matthew. So there you go. That is um, <sighs> the magnum opus of Neil Breen. I, I don't even know what to say. I, I'm, I'm so sad that uh, Matthew didn't get to catch the end of it, but hopefully he'll be able to watch it on his own. Um, because, uh, yeah, it's it's that good. Uh, now it's probably going to start playing again on its own because Matthew isn't there to turn it off. Um, so, yeah. Let me stop that. Um, yeah. Pause. There. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, why does it keep playing? Yeah. I hit stop. And it plays again. Wow, that's bizarre. Well, I can at least turn the volume of it down. There. Um, so... Yeah, that really sucks. Um, and let's see, who put Hero of Kuroge in there? No, that's the original credits. I don't know what, what you mean by that. I have no idea. And uh, yeah, it just happens to be there. Uh, <laughs> but you're absolutely right, Tokyo. It is textbook definition of horrible movie. Uh, I, I love those. I, I love the Neil Breen films. Uh, there's five of them in, in all. I there's a couple that I could get in, unfortunately, rather low resolution. Um, I may or may not eventually put them on. Um, couple that uh, there's one that I couldn't get at all. Because <sighs> my understanding is Neil Breen just doesn't want it out there. I think that's Double Down, uh, which was his first film. Um, he, there's no way to get it anymore unless you have one of the original uh, DVDs of it. Um, but I do have copies of all his other films. And um, so, yeah, uh, sadly, the, uh, you know, Matthew didn't get to see the last act of this film. Uh, which is where things really get interesting with the superpowers out of the blue. So hopefully uh, he'll be able to get them eventually. Um, so okay, um, uh,
So what we'll do is next week when we uh, will replay the ending of this movie uh, so Matthew can see it. Uh, and no, Thomas, I'm not ignoring you. Sorry. Um, and yeah, you think he, you think he made his wife cut the wires. That would be hilarious if that was the truth. Uh, sorry, I wasn't ignoring you. I'm trying to, uh, uh, do a couple things at once. Uh, so two people shot themselves in a public and press conference and keeps going. You know, that was kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, you would think they would stop the press conference as soon as people started shooting themselves. Uh, no, and no, Bradley, I was not falling asleep. I was looking downward at my phone while I was texting back and forth with Matthew. Uh, but no, I, and no, I was, uh, and let's see, uh, Donnie says, been fun, must go. Uh, have a good one. And, and yeah, next week we will make Matthew watch the rest of this magnum opus of Neil Breen's along with uh, something else. Uh, don't know if we'll do Star Trek or an, another horrible movie. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but when we do get to Star Trek uh, Into Darkness, I want to make sure that it is properly, uh, it is the proper time for it. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, Matthew uh, had all the technical problems. But remember, you are the salt. I always think that the camera is still up there. You are the salt of the earth, but I am the salty trekker. And take care. Um, and Mrs. Salty Trekker, of course, said hello. Although she's in bed now, as I should have been some time ago. But, you know, I like hanging out with you guys. So why not? Well... Yeah. And Thomas wants Battle of Endor. <sighs>